Good morning. Today is a very exciting day for me today and for my family. Uh, I'm doing the layout of my foundations. I'm going to show you guys. Here's my copy of my plan I made for myself. Um, just to give myself an idea of the layout and to make it much easier for myself as I did this. A very simple way not to get confused with all the other numbers um, but just to do it like this because that's the layout I'm doing today and then later when we do all the reinforcement bars and building up then we'll do the uh, interior um, walls what I'm doing a floating slab and a floating slab is a movable art um, you don't need to dig so deep some guys do dig deeper but you uh, there's a way of doing it Okay, so I got my pegs here, what I'm going to use to peg out, my hammer, uh, 30 meters um, of um, measurement, and then I just got a 5 meter to shorter distance, a roll of um, rope to help me, and then um, I'm using my 90 degrees, it's very important to use, um, my gloves, got my uh, two different type of spades I've got a my nice one you can spade I board it's nice and straight and this is more your type of American spade what's very very comfortable to use and then I got my pick and I'm gonna use these little bottles just to put over my pegs so I can see them and I don't fall over them to injure myself or the other workers and then I just got my hat and a long sleeve um, to keep me warm underneath the shirt I've got on. I got my first line across the peak is in. Yes, my 90 to make sure the building is straight. So that line have to run straight. The distance is going. My first peak will be 15 meters away from the boundary. And we'll go all along across there, hit another peak in there, down there. Now I'm going to take my line all across that way. That's why I use my 90. So I can make sure that the wall will be square, 90 degrees. And then I put a peak over here with a bottle on to indicate this point. Because I'm going to pull this peak out eventually. And that's just the middle peak of that one. Okay. make sure that this little is a total square just take the tape measurement look on that furthest point and bring it across here i will do the same from that point to that point and you know that's a little square that it's, a, it's 90 degrees now we're gonna go down that that we're gonna go up Okay, what I want to show you is that this is where the wall is going to meet so that's a total 90 but I want to make sure when I remove this line and this peg that I got a peg in the outside 
to indicate that's my line and when I build I make sure that that's it's in, the, it's in the right position over here so my trenches will be dipped 30 uh, centimeters but this white all along there and then I will move this one a little bit back I think it's a little bit too close move it a little bit back so it gives you room to dig and to move around it so when you finish dig the trenches then I'm gonna redo this line uh, so when I put the rebars in what goes up and the joints of the rebars that it stays in line so when I do the uh, the block line has been built that will be a total straight line make sure this is 90 it comes across I'll just use my level to get a straight line to make sure that where I put this other peg in that my line will be straight the you can just use a plank if you've got the one close by I use the eye and I'll double check it later before I build I've laid the whole um, frame of the house out what we're building in phase one eventually we're building garages um, the balance of the house three bedrooms a study that all will follow so I've done my layout you see where the um, little black spots are or caps I put over that will be the corners of the house and uh, at the power rate um, empty containers I use is just where it will keep in line and it will stay there until the trenches is dig finish and eventually when you're pulling the lines across and you are um, start putting the reinforcement down so those lines will stay there till those things are done the foundation is poured and then we'll take those ones off then it will all clear and then we'll do the inside as well uh, floating slab Layout of the plan, patio, front. Just follow those black spots you see. That's the actual room for the walls gonna be. That's all patio. Okay, these lines what you see that way that's where your wall will be for your foundation where your wall is gonna be on top of it. So we're working from the middle and it's foundations of 30, that's nearly one foot centimeters. So we'll go 15, 15, that's your middle. I will start on this side first. That'll be 15 centimeters on my mirror. I need to pack in here. see my line I put the one side on still have to do the, the other side right at the end I'm gonna put cement now on that line to keep my line I'll do the next line you'll see the difference okay you see I pulled a line here where well, I use cement on my line I'll do another line on this side and that will give you a width of 300 30 centimeters nearly one foot 
Um, you'll see now how we'll be coming this line this side. I'm going to finish this line off right to the end and I'll pour it on top. All around all these lines with my middle guideline because that's where the wall's going to sit. I'm going to have a little track going over it and eventually this will go off, dig the trenches. Now you'll see I will do the next line on that other side. There's my mark. I just back out. Bring it across. Marker. Bring it in here. We'll keep the line, we'll take the line off later, also done this. Okay, I've only done two lines so far. There's your middle line, your yellow line. That's where the wall will sit in the middle. Okay, my first line is done, up to there. There's two fingers deep, it needs to go much more deeper, like I said, 400, 40 centimeters. I've done these shots already. What I need to do is do this. So this foundation is running this way, the joining in this foundation will comes across, will be joined together with the rods, brickwork, reinforcement, all of them will join in and that makes the whole frame of the house much stronger. Done with this one. We need to make it deeper. So this one is a very short one, luckily. I've already did my lines, 300. Now I'm done for the day. Done this. I'll show you the rest that I've completed the day. The basic layout is done. Now just make it deeper. With another patio, four meters by nine point four five meters. Quite nice. 
massage and that's a little layout here. Back patio area. And this is the house section. And patio. 